Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to build this high voltage capacitor charger. We can use this circuit to charge high voltage capacitors such as this one, which is 550 volts, but the charger can give you uh, even more than 1000 volts. The construction is relatively simple. It is based on a Masili or CVS driver, which is an oscillator circuit to drive the high voltage transformer. This transformer must be handmade. It is a high frequency transformer with a ferrite core. And we have to build the primary, primary coil and the high voltage secondary coil and from here rectify the output to obtain high voltage DC. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The ferrite core can be obtained from a flyback. Flybacks come in old analog television sets. The core has a couple of separators. They prevent the two halves from touching each other and create a little gap. This is necessary for the correct working. So you must keep it in place. If you can't find a flyback, you can also use a high frequency transformer that also has a ferrite core. You can find this in switch mode power supplies. Here you can see the core of the transformer. Sometimes it is very difficult to take them out because of the glue, but a simple hack is to boil them for 10 minutes. That will soften the glue and then you can take them away very easily. In order to make the high voltage coil, take a plastic film and roll it into a tube of a diameter slightly larger than the cylindrical part of the core. Here I have finished the first layer. 80 turns of magnet wire gauge 30. We will continue to add layers until we complete between 350 and 400 turns. Between each layer it is important to add insulation. You can use Teflon tape or any other insulation tape. Here we have the finished coil. 370 turns of magnet wire gauge 30. The oscillator circuit to excite the core is the classic Masili driver. It has the advantage that it is easy to build, just a few components, and it is very powerful, so that we can quickly charge our capacitors. Here it is. The MOSFETs that I am using are the IRF3205, but any N-channel power MOSFET will do the job. I am using two capacitors in parallel, 1.8 microfarads at 400 volts, and the primary coil is 10 turns with a center tap. The output of the high voltage coil is AC, so in order to get DC, I built this bridge rectifier. 
using 1N407 diodes which can withstand 1000 volts so I used two in series in order to ensure that they do not burn from excess voltage here I have everything assembled this is for the input voltage I added a switch push button the Masili circuit and here we have the high voltage transformer and the diodes let's try first with this capacitor it is very small 0.2 microfarads but it can withstand up to 5 kilovolts I have the power supply connected to the capacitor charger here is our test capacitor and the multimeter to check the output voltage the voltage of the charger is proportional to the input voltage let's try first with 4 volts and let's see how much do we get 356 volts now let's try with 5 volts at the input 450 volts with 6 volts we get 544 let's try with 7 boy but my multimeter can measure up to 600 volts okay that's more 637 volts and we can fit or charger with up to 20 volts and we will obtain more than 1000 volts at the output I will not charge this small capacitor bank approximately 3000 microfarads and the working voltage is 330 volts so let me turn on the charger there it goes So we charged our bank in just a few seconds. Now let's try with this little monster. It's 2400 microfarads at 450 volts. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. In a forthcoming video, I will show you how to make a high voltage capacitor bank to charge with or charger and then make some high voltage experiments. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video.